Welcome to myvisualpromotion.com advanced training. Let's start by adding an image. We'll go back to the image we used in a previous tutorial. We'll add that image. Now, what we can do with this image, we can go into the advanced deal here and you can use these various effects. You have exposure, grayscale, uh, tint, hue, etc. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just click on the different uh, effect you're looking for. And long as you have this checked, it's going to show you what the preview would look like. This is what a shade would look like. This is for the edges, and you can get your preview. And you can also adjust the size of the effect with this slide bar here and do different uh, effects with your image. One of, uh, let's see, one of the other ones here that's probably going to be pretty popular would be the grayscale. So you could change a full color photograph into a grayscale. I have to restart that here. Uh, so I close my other preview and open this one here with the grayscale. You can see, and if we agree that's what we're looking for, we can click the check mark, which will apply it to the product, and you'll see it in the product window turn into a grayscale. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, again, if you know the better quality images are going to be larger and they're going to take a little time. So you're better off uh, using those images and just being a little patient. Uh, here's in design mode, you can see the grayscale image. Another neat feature uh, for these things to go into borders. There's a ton you can do film strip border, uh, puzzle piece border, uh, multiple different borders here, as you see through the slider. So you select that and see here it is on the film strip. And here's probably one of my favorite borders, this little washed edge of look. And uh, while that's loading, we'll look at some of these other ones. You have holiday card, you have multiple frames, TV, old TV frames, and etc. Here's the one I was speaking of, and you see it in the design mode, see so it has a nice washed look to it. That especially looks good whenever you do, like let's say, Let's close this one out, and I'll use that same effect on a item from our store images, like the flag. Go into here, go into advanced, and I'm gonna add the border, and I'm gonna go back to the border I spoke of earlier with the edges. It gives it a nice little washed edge look, and uh, takes just a second, and it'll apply. And um, let's see here. There it is right there, and a re really neat little watch look, especially if you change to another item, another color. It really looks good with the worn edges on there. At the same time, on the different products, you'll see up here in the upper window, there's different side views and back. Like this particular product, the t-shirt, we have a front and back view. So now we go to the back of the t-shirt, and you can add images to the back as well. And uh, select here move it in the back of the t-shirt and select the match you want. And if you notice this this image here is a one color image we can change that image by going into the image properties under advanced tool and go back to effects and we're going to go to the tent button here and you can select let's say we want it to look yellow and this slider underneath that, that top slider selects your color and the bottom slider selects the amount of tint you want to apply to it. So as you see right here, at the lower end, it's still somewhat black with a little yellow tint. And if we go to the far right, then it's going to appear very bright yellow. And we can hit check on that, and it'll apply into the product picture. So that's how, when you go into the add images and you select some of these black and white images, like this fire, for instance, Hit add image, it shows the fire. Let's click on this one and uh, let's deselect that for the moment. Let's uh, disregard it and we're gonna look at our fire. So we have a black and white, which black and white is handy in, in some designs, but if we wanna change and add some color to it, we can go to the tent and go to our color slider and apply some coloring. So we can do a little bit of red, bring that quantity of tint up, hit check, and it's going to change it to a red tint. Then what we could do is we could go back and add images again, add that fire one more time, move it slightly over, and 
go into the tint and let's say let's do a little yellow and add a little bright tint to it and click the check mark and now we have kind of a red yellow flame look and what we can do then is say we want the red on top of the yellow if you notice right now the yellow is on the top of the red so we select the yellow hit the down arrow here and that's how you change the layers of your elements your design elements so uh, let's see we can add some other images and uh, let's say let's put this wing this little design back in and zoom up do that and see right there it's on top of the entire design so we're gonna go here we use this down arrow click and it's one layer back and two layers back so now it's in the complete background of our flames and if you want to select just that image you go over here select that it's called an ornament select that and move it around and so on and so forth so we can go back we can take the flames back off okay this flame off okay and uh, let's say that's the background image we want we'll go add images we put an image on top of it let's do a cool little smiley face and put that image right on top right in the middle and have some fun with it make some cool little effects uh, under the effects uh, let's see we go to border right here and uh, select one of these other cool looking borders let's do a little wash background to it and see what that does for us takes it just a second kind of a grunge look to it pretty cool look and he almost looks like he kind of floats right up in that design